good time, I'm ready to eat some good food. So in this video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make grilled burgers from scratch. These burgers are going to be so juicy, so succulent, you're going to be wanting another one. So let's get started with the video and I want to give a special shout out to my friend IsTheWiz25. Y'all should check out some of his videos. He is a loyal subscriber and he just has great content on his channel. So let's get started and thanks for watching and everybody be safe for 4th of July. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chop my onion because I'm going to be making caramelized onions for my burger. So I'm going to cut off the root. I'm going to keep it intact still so I can keep all of my cuts uniform. And you just want to make sure that you don't cut all the way. And then I'm going to cut my onion in half because I'm going to be making julienne cuts. So now you can just peel the shell off of your onion and then just make sure you get everything nice and clean to make your julienne cuts. So cutting about an eighth inch thick, I'm just going up and down to make my julienne cuts and then that's it. And when you're done, you can just put all of your onions in a bowl and set to the side. Okay, so moving on to the lettuce, I got red leaf lettuce and I'm just peeling off the outer layers of the lettuce because those are normally the bad parts. And then I'm just going to pick off a few for my burgers. Okay, so for the tomatoes, you want to make sure you get like a beef tomato. And then right now, I'm just going to pick off the root because I don't want any of that nasty stuff in my burger. And the beef tomatoes are great because they hold their shape and they're not slimy like any other tomato and they're really firm. Okay, so now I'm adding a tablespoon of oil to my pan and I'm going to go ahead and throw in my onions, making sure my heat's on medium high. And I'm also going to throw about three tablespoons of sugar in there to get that nice caramelization on my onions. And if you need to add more oil, feel free to do so. I had to and right now I'm just going to break apart my onions. So as you can see, my onions are starting to develop a brown color and I'm just going to continue to cook those onions until I get a rich, dark, deep brown color. It's going to take like 15 to 20 minutes, so don't rush the process. <laughs> And so here's all my toppings for my burgers. Okay, so right now I'm going to separate my hamburger meat into three parts because I'm going to be making third pound burgers and I made sure to get 80-20, not 73-27 because that one has more fat and you won't get more bang for your buck. So make sure to get 80-20 or like 90-10 or whatever. I also got this little burger former, I guess. It was only like $3, so I'm like, why not? So I'm just putting my hamburger meat in there, and it has like rings on the inside, and I guess it's supposed to make sure your product cooks more evenly. So I'm just putting it in there, and I'm going to put the top on it, and then I'm just going to put my hamburger patties on my plate. <laughs> So now I'm going to use my seasoning salt to season my burgers and when you finish seasoning one side go ahead and flip those burgers and do it to the other and I'm also going to just put some black pepper on that and that's all I'm really using for these burgers. They're really simple and straightforward. With your thumb you also want to put a divot in the center of your burgers to make sure your burgers don't shrink. Okay, so right now I'm going to lift up my grill and I'm going to turn on the propane tank to the right. And you want to lift up your grill so that your grill doesn't blow up when you try to light it. So you can turn your heat on like medium and then just make sure you hit the igniter button. With the paper towel, I just put some vegetable oil on it and I'm going to oil my grill to make sure my burgers don't stick to the grates. 
Now you can place your burgers on the grill. I'm putting mine towards the center because that's where the majority of the heat will be. And I'm going to be cooking mine about medium. So it's going to take about five minutes per side. So after about five minutes, I'm going to go ahead and flip those burgers. And um, I'm also going to butter my buns and make sure to put those towards the top of my grill because I want to get a nice toasted bun for my burger. So once you flip all of your burgers, just make sure to add your favorite cheese. I'm just going to be using cheddar for this one. And once you've added all of your buns, just make sure to close that lid on the grill and cook for an additional 5 minutes. So after about 5 minutes, go ahead and lift your grill and take your burgers off if you want like medium burgers. If you want your burgers more well done, obviously you're going to cook them way longer, probably an additional 5 minutes on each side. But like I said, I like mine medium to medium well, so it's like nice and juicy and then just perfect with a little bit of pink inside. That's perfect to me. Okay, so now I'm ready to dress my burger. I'm going to be putting some mayo on the bottom part of my bun. Not Miracle Whip mayo because nobody wants that sweet stuff on their burger. I'm also going to add about two pieces of my red leaf lettuce, and that's the lettuce that looks so beautiful. I'm going to put my burger on top of my lettuce, and now I'm going to go ahead and add my beef tomato. And now on to the bacon, because I decided to take it to the next level. And even on top of that, I'm going to finish with the caramelized onions we made earlier. And then we're just going to top that off with our bun. Here it is, a cool. And here's my final product. Slightly transform, just a bit of a break from the norm. Just a little something to break the monotony of all that hard. Thanks everybody for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a fat thumbs up, give it a juicy thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel below. You can always comment and have a safe 4th of July and enjoy your weekend. Bye!